Hello and how are you? My name is Mahindo Mubara and I am coming to our 17th lecture of creating a complete market place uh, system. So you know, let's do 40 minutes. I'll go ahead and start our timer. Just to, without wasting, wasting any minute, let's go straight into our today's business and resume from where we stopped at in the previous lecture. So I'll go to our system. You remember in the previous lecture, we were able to load these products from the web portal and display them in the what? In the system like this. So right now, we're going to see how um, we're going to see how we do what? How we we create a single page uh, display for these products. So. When someone clicks on a single product, they should be able to see a full display for these uh, products. So that's what we're going to do right now. So let me just start my fan because the computer is heating up. Just a minute. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. This thing is not streaming, I don't know why. Stop it. Start it again. Let's see. Okay. I'm sorry about that. And don't worry, we're going to click off. I shall keep checking on it. Okay, so uh previously we stopped at this level where I could list these products. So as I've said, I want now when someone clicks on a product, we should be able to display the what? Uh, these uh, products like uh, this, like the one that I did before, I like can click here and then you see a product. So I want also someone to be able to click on a product and be able to zoom. So is that my thing? Let's go straight to this business and resume this business. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and create what you call product, uh, product what? Product page, product screen. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So I'll come here and uh, go to my code. So let's go to shop. I, be, I remember created a folder called shop. Screens. Shop. All right. So let's go ahead and create a product screen, single product screen. So come here and say file and say product screen dot that. So that's the screen. I want when someone clicks on it, they should be taken to there. All right, so let's begin. So this screen, uh, we can begin the screen which is taking parameters because I want to limit it to uh, take product all the time. Okay, so let's begin with can take just parameters. So let's just simply say uh, stateful widget. I'm going to begin this from scratch. So I'll just simply say stateful widget and then go ahead and say product screen. And then I go ahead and import this. So I'm going to put here. I'm going to make it accept a map of string and dynamic and I'm going to call this one what uh, params okay params All right so after doing so I'll come and initialize these params here I remove this key and say this dot params so it means that I'll have made a constructor where someone must pass these parameters in order to do what to access uh i mean in order to access this screen product screen product screen so I'll save now i'm going to put a listener that uh, when someone taps on our widget of a product where is this listener so we come here to all right let's come to home screen i think this is the one so i want when someone taps on uh on this home screen you have the section home or the home section so I want when someone taps on the products page, where is it? I want when someone taps on this product, if you still remember where is the product page here, you see this product UI, it takes a what? It takes a click listener. Okay, it takes a click listener, this product UI. Like when someone taps on it, it, it calls it. So I want when someone taps on this product, we should go ahead and open the product, the product screen. So I'll just simply say get.2 and I open this bracket like this and then point at uh, product screen and then you know this product screen will take widgets I mean it will take parameters alright so I can do like this it will still be okay so what I'm going to do here I'm going to go ahead and say let's take product 
and I pass uh, the product that will have done what that someone will have clicked on. I don't know why this live is not starting. Let me restart afresh. I don't know why it's not starting. Just a second. Alright. Okay. Okay, I think it has now started finally. So, alright. Uh, so, I've done that. Like, uh, now when someone click on the product, I want them to be taken to the product screen. However, we should see what I'm passing here. I'm passing the product and then the product itself as yeah, a parameter. So, I want to go to the product screen and then I put in it. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just simply come here in this product screen and I put init listener, init state, and then in this init, init state, and then, sorry, it's supposed to override, override and say init state. So, let's say, so init state, override the init state, and then, can just simply come and say here maybe um just like i did here in, i say my init right i just be calling the init like this or oh, i can call this on my init so in this init initialization i'm just going to simply uh go ahead and see if there is a product that was passed i'll go ahead and see if there's a product was that was passed i go ahead and get that product so how will i do that i'll just simply come here why is it doing this are you doing that? Alright, oh sorry, this is supposed to be outside the builder. Sorry about that. This is supposed to be outside the builder is supposed to be outside this build is supposed to be here. Alright, so there we go. So I want here to to just get uh maybe a main product that we are going to display. So I can say product uh product uh, and then I say uh products that are going to display it displays it like that. So I'm going to be checking these parameters if they will the product that has sent. So I'll just simply say if uh, widget dot product is not null, okay, widget uh, dot params then product is not null, and I can also put there uh, what I can also put there another and and check if the runtime is this exact one. Dot uh, runtime is exactly the same as the product runtime. I can say product dot runtime. So if the runtime is the same, I'll go ahead and initialize and just simply say now this product is the one that has been passed in the what in the widget. So that's how I'll do it. If the runtime is the same, then I go ahead and do it and set state. So that's what I'll be doing immediately when someone opens the what the screen of the single product UI. So let's save and now go ahead and click on the single product. So let's click on this product. You see, it has opened successfully, but there is nothing there to be shown. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to go ahead and try to approach and we see how we can now display our product and see how we can display our product on a detailed screen. So let's do that. So let's do that. I'll just simply go ahead and say, uh, so we shall go ahead and return the scaffold. Return the scaffold. So let's go ahead and return the scaffold. Scaffold like this. I can import it if it's not there and then if I save everything will be fine so after doing so I'm going to go ahead and uh, and uh, go ahead and give the background color of white so I'll say my scaffold background color is white so it can be like pure white and then after I go ahead let me see if here I specify the up bar not let me specify it here so I go ahead and give the up bar so here the up bar I can just simply say up bar and then uh, you can see the upper will come. So let's try to see the title. So you say I just say title and I say text and I give it, for example, uh, my product name. You'll see that the product has come. That is carrot. You can see. So if I click on this, you see there is berry. So you can see now the products are able to 
uh, to load accordingly. So that's what I want. That's not what I want. So I just want to give this a uh, background color. I just want to give this background color of uh, uh, primary, primary, all right, so you can have our status color there, and then go ahead and give it height of zero, upper, I mean, height, toolbar height of zero, so it can be hidden, I don't need it, I, need to, I don't need to show it, I have a better plan for my screen. So after doing so, now we can proceed now and start now designing our product. So we're going to begin here by putting the body. So I can put the body even on top, no problem. So I can just simply say body. And then I go ahead and say it is safe area. Now after putting safe area, so the safe area is going to take a child that's going to take a refresh indicator. So I just simply say child and then say refresh indicator. So in this refresh indicator, every time someone refreshes, I'll be calling every time when someone refreshes i'll be this thing is also auto completing things that i have not told you to auto complete so when time when someone refreshes i'll be saying asynchronous and then i go ahead and call this what init okay init a uh, function okay uh so to doing so let's give this one uh a child of stack so i'll go ahead and give this guy a child of stack something like that so I save everything is beautiful after doing so uh, now let me proceed I go ahead and uh, give the background color of refresh to be uh, to be white and then the color of refresh to be the, the, the color of refreshing button to be what to be uh, my primary color so when someone refreshes you should be having something like that hope you see all right so we proceed now to and start giving the paint to this stack so first things first, uh, we're going to begin by giving this stack a column. We're going to give, begin by giving this stack a column. So I'll just simply come and say, uh, children, of course, let's begin with the what? With a column. And then this column will also have what? It will also have children. All right, so I go ahead and put expanded in this stack. I go ahead and put expanded where my content is going to be. So I can just press go ahead and say expanded. And then inside expanded, I'm going to put a single, I mean, custom child scroll view, custom child scroll view, custom child scroll view. Of course, you know, that one's going to take our heart, our sleevers, different kind of sleevers, just like we did the other side. So after doing so, I hope you can see that. After doing so, I hope you can see it. We are putting stack because we want to have this kind of uh, layout on top of going back and sharing that's why i'm putting that stack all right so after doing so after doing so uh, now we can proceed and then go ahead and give our first sliver so we go ahead and give our first sliver list so we just simply come here and say children and then our first sliver list let me explain this properly all right so it's going to take sliver, it's going to take slivers, so go ahead and put slivers, and slivers is a what? Is an array, so I'll go ahead and open like that. So after doing so, we're going to give our first sliver list. Our first sliver list is going to be a sliver list, as I've just said. So we shall just simply go ahead and specify here and say sliver list, and then uh, this sliver list is going to take a what? The delegate of sliver. Uh, child builder delegate okay so it's going to take a delegate of sliver sliver list child builder all right so so this sliver list child builder of course you know it takes a part it is a builder so it's going to take uh some kind of a function whereby it will be receiving a uh, context let me show you how it's going to be done uh, let me first disable this the completion it's giving me at time let me disable right so here we're going to give what we're going to give uh build it i'm mean, going to accept uh build context and then put context and what and int index int index like this 
So that the thing is going to accept, then we go ahead and open the function like this and return. So that's what how child that's what that's and that's what child user takes. Then I have to close this one here. And then after um in this you're going to return for example uh say text our content all right and then also we're going to go ahead after specifying uh this let's specify what you're going to return we're going to go ahead and give what you call child count all right so I'll come next to this build and give what you call child count all right i'll remove this bracket all right let me see it's not happening let's see why it's crying so we have your child with the delegate i'll open and close its bracket like that okay open and close its bracket okay so child count it takes what it takes child count so i'll just click on here child count all right maybe you're not choosing the right one <laughs> let's see uh supposed to be child sliver list sliver list taking child builder delegate yeah i think we're not giving anything child list builder delegate yeah that's what i wanted so taking a what taking a bracket open the bracket and then give it let me just explain this again all right let's start afresh let me just start afresh so uh a sliver list you have a sliver list here that it takes a what a child list builder a child builder delegate takes a child builder delegate like this right yes all right so this delegate it takes two things the first thing is open bracket and say uh builder context put context and then int index and then open your bracket here like this and then the second takes what uh child count which is one so yeah so we're passing just one only so you're going to return only one child so in here you have to return what you're going to display so i can say return here and say text and say content that's how you can copy and then maybe master how this child this builder here works so you can see here we have a what we have our our content here so after doing so we're going to proceed we're going to proceed now to uh to so we have display that so we're going to go ahead and uh, and do what and display our container so i'm going to give a uh so i scale to return a column so let's go ahead and put a column so i'll just click on here and surround this one with a column so everything nothing is going to change you're going to remain just content but it's going to take a column so i hope you're together there then after returning the column the next thing that we're going to do, we're going to give a, a what? We're going to give this uh, item some background color, right? Some background color. So before something opens, we should be having something like a background color. So we're going to determine. We're going to determine the height of our our what? Our slider. We're going to determine the height of our slider. So I can say the height of our slider, or the height of our slider. So I can say int. I can say maybe the height of our slider, I can just simply say double and then say height of our slider, which is going to be H. I can say slider height equals to our height of the device, which is get x, I mean get that height, and then open get and then import get and then I'm going to give this I'm going to pass here uh, the container. So I just simply say container and then this give this container what give this container the height so i can give this container for example the height so let me give this container height um let me give it color first i can say maybe primary primary it is there 
and then give it some height so let's give it some height and then simply slider height so that's how far our image is going to be like okay our main photo or the slider or you can even divide maybe by 2.5 so it can be a little bit smaller something like that however it can be up to your design on how you want it to be like all right so after doing so let me make it two so there you go that means that this one will be a uh, main images so i can give it width of infinity so i can give width of what of infinity i hope it's not going to cry oh, i hope so so i can give or i can specify i hope there's no warning there or i can specify the width to be the width of our what our device which is uh device dot watch dot get dot width hope there is no any issue by doing that so there we go so there we go i can give maybe primary light primary light so it cannot be, be flashing so much uh something like that all right so after doing so maybe i can even put here maybe our shimmer so before things show up we can have shimmer but it's okay let's proceed aha uh -huh, let's proceed let's proceed so after the after after putting our what our uh, container there i uh, would no margin no padding after putting our container there now we're going to put out a call a carousel slider carousel slider so carousel slider uh we have not added it in our packages however carousel slider i think we have added it we have added it we have already added carousel slider when we did that one. so we're going to put here a carousel slider and that carousel slider is the one that's going to have our what our images right it's going to have our what our images so let me copy this i'm just going to explain everything okay i'm going to explain everything just don't worry let me copy this one to save your time and then i'll explain everything step by step so i'll come here i'll come here and put um our caress slider like this so it's going to be uh i import the caress slider so it's going to be the child to this container now let me explain everything step by step i import the uh the options Oh, sorry 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 i put in the wrong place i'm supposed to put in the what as a child of this here yeah exactly all right so yeah there we go i go ahead and import the color slider so i'm going to explain everything step by step just don't need to worry so first things first so i begin by giving the options so those are the options you can just pause the video and watch the options so i'm giving the fraction of one and then the enlarge center factor in i mean large large center page to be false in large factor to be one in large or scroll zero and then auto play to be false and then height of oh, the height that we discussed about here so i can just simply copy this height and paste it here okay so that's our height so now on the point of items on the point of items so you can see you have your items and then you have product dot online items so let's go ahead and put your product dot online items but you know on this product we have not put the parameter of online items so let me go to the mode of this product i can just simply put here dot id so i can click and i go just to our product okay so i come come back and just do like that okay so again put here online items i mean online photos right you're going to put online photos a process that you use to get online photos i remember we did that logic on uh, the product item i mean on the on the stock item stock item stock item model i remember we did that kind of logic online products photos something like that product photos here we call it product photos yeah? so sorry local images we had local images and we had something like online images eh? here we have local images what else and then you have your online images something like this where we could just even initiate these online images right like this so let me just copy this one as it is here however we can just harmonize it later let me copy that one as it is then i come to uh, to what i come to our product model and then let me paste it there all right so there i paste it there so that is this is just list of image uh image <laughs> image mode image i mean sorry image model local and then say online online images and then i say get images 
uh, get online images i just do this step by step by just first clearing i check if the online photos are, are not there so here we call it online photos of course you even here called online photos and then if they are empty i return if they're not empty i go ahead and get the dynamic i do json decode and then i loop as i put them here you know in these online photos yeah so that's how we did the online photos so we'll be calling this we'll be calling this every time we 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 initiate the object so let me copy this so you can pause the video very carefully and go through these lines you'll understand this is just converting the json that was sent that sent the on the, the photos gallery into what into um into into a what into a list of images okay so let's go ahead and copy this so i'm just going to do here from from json okay this from json method i'm just going to add here after copying doing everything i'm going to add here get online images so every time you refresh sorry wait from json like this i think yeah it is here ah sorry 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 um, yeah so we have our uh, from json of this particular product so from json i go ahead and say get online images i think i've already done it this is a product item yeah get online images when did i do this i even don't remember get online images yeah so it does just a repetition i think i've already done it somewhere i've already done it ah, everything is already been done so online images you see i'm already doing it so i don't need to get this repeated so that's it so let's go back to our screen let's go back to our um, to our product screen so i'll come here instead of putting here online photos i just simply put online images right like this okay so i go ahead and import this and then come and put here online photos something like that so when i tap on it i'll go ahead and say open photos so let me comment this for now i'll explain that later so like when you tap on the photo you should be able to open it uh -huh. then let me import this um network cache so i hope you can see everything carefully all right i hope you can see things carefully so we here now we want the image to display the image so remember we have our utils in our utils a function that got that gets for us image photo i don't know whether i still remember it did we put it in utils mg <laughs> let me see if we put it in utils even I remember I created some function that gets for right image photo get image URL I think it's this one okay so it will do the whole logic and get for us a what an image URL if you still remember that so let's go ahead and put there item I mean product I mean sorry item dot what dot dot local path or something like that I believe it's something like that let me see if we have something like this somewhere shift F aha so is it local path i don't know i don't even remember let's see why we are calling it in another place uh we are calling it here in stock details stock what stock image management yeah so here stock image management you see we are passing local path i think that is fine now so we pass local path to get the image i hope you can see that then after here we're going to go ahead and put our shimmer uh, our loader you see you still remember our shimmer right so let me go ahead and remove this just simply put shimmer widget so our height is going to be the height you already know the height it's going to be the height of a slider slider height something like that so after doing so we have your error so our error we can show like no image if you still remember something that we did let me even search for this we can just copy so if there is no image no image let me just search here no image so i can just simply copy this and go ahead and put it in our error so i got i will just go back here to product screen and then where there is our error 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 
error widget i'll just simply go ahead and put uh this okay i'll go ahead and put just uh what image asset you see what i've done it's just image i removed the other one so error widget you put image asset and then i go ahead and put no image and then i put width of infinity and then i put height of what or slider height something like that so you see how we are coming everything is making sense now i can come here uh so uh yep i hope you can see that i hope you can see that hope you can see that so you can pause the video and see this very carefully and remember all these are surrounded in what in stack so it means that we can be able to position something on top of the other okay you can watch that very carefully you'll be able to understand it see you are putting our images right also as well as challenging yourself i don't spoon food you uh, to spoon feed you so after that after this first item in this stack after this first time in the stack which is the network photo the next thing that i'm going to do now is to put positioned and then go ahead and put the the what the the the, the image so i put positioned put bottom to be 15 so it can be a little bit on top then put a uh, right to be 15 so it can be a little bit um, from right and then i go and say fx container and then i give a border to be true border radius to be 100 and then i say color to be black and then the opacity to 0 0.05 and then padding dot edge insert you see the padding that i'm setting i go ahead and import this and then i say item dot the position <laughs> i don't know which position now how i can get this position i can get this position from where from can i get here the index can i get the index i don't know maybe index i don't know whether it is okay there index i don't even know where this index is coming from index no this is not correct um, so you can put this position on the image so i can come to local image model local local product local image model let me just put there some something all right some variable called index in variable called index can make it zero so here when we are getting uh, these products from uh, from what from, um, from 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 the widgets so I'll come here from from json i'll just be increasing it so let me come here to product to product what to product model and then here uh, instead of doing this, I can just simply go ahead and say, uh, let me just first duplicate it and just simply say, IMG, IMG equals, equals to that. And then I say, IMG, I mean, IMG dot uh, dot what dot uh, uh dot position equals to i go ahead and count this i count this dot length plus one so that's how i can be able to get the position and then i go ahead and add this like this img so there we go yeah, that's fine i'll go back now i'll go back product screen yep that is okay so there's no more errors you can try and follow very very carefully you'll see that you'll be able to achieve something like that even if you get some challenges trust me it is all possible you can just pause my video watch very slowly just let me scroll beginning on top from top you can watch my steps very slowly on top of my explanations Okay, you should be able to achieve this. Alright. As you pause the video anyway. Alright, so after doing so and you'll be able to understand it. After doing so, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to uh, make sure that every time you refresh, you should get the images. So I'll just simply come here, product. Dot. So after getting the product, I'll just simply go ahead and get online images. So every time you refresh, we get online images. So let's see. 
refresh, we get online images. However, I'm not I'm not sure whether the online images really came. Let's see if I have any error in the bottom. There's no any error. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, display the count because the images are not showing. So let's go ahead and display the number of images. So I'll save. I'll just simply come to what? I'll just simply come to our uh, to our column here. Our column here. I'll just simply go ahead and uh, where should I put this? There's a stack here. Let me come next to the stack. Okay. Let me come. Okay, there's a column. I can put something on top here, I think. FX text. Alright, I can put something there. Alright. Alright, so I want to display there uh, the number of images. So there's no images. Uh huh. What if we refresh? Still no images. Let's try to see another thing. So let's refresh. There you go. Let's click. Ah, uh, at least there's one image there. <laughs> All right. Let's click on this. There's one image there. Ah, uh, there's no image there. So why do products don't have images? Didn't we have enough images there? Two images there. Didn't we have enough images to? Jesus dummy so but the whole point here you can see some images okay you can see some images maybe we need just to we need to be to do what to re update our what our 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 our, our. there's no image really okay all right, so maybe we need just to work on the logic. Or oh, see, this one has some images. All right, you need to work on the logic of our dummy data. However, since we have at least a product that you can use for demonstration, we can just use this one later. We can just work on the dummy data and you see how good we can work with it. Right? Later, we can work with the dummy data. All right, so yeah, that is fine. That is fine. Now let me go ahead and remove this uh, top thing that I just added. Just remove that. So everything is beautiful everything is beautiful you can click on something and then you're able to see some images and you can see here the number of images that we are showing so it though it's beginning from two i don't know why um maybe the, our account is not working it wasn't working properly let me see let's 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 see, let's see. product images sorry product model so here we get the length huh and then images length plus one yeah i thought that is correct because okay all right let's go with that <laughs> i don't know why okay so yeah i can just simply do that and uh, then i can just simply come here and say uh, so you see that one okay i see the point i see the point here we are adding one also <laughs> here we are adding one the position you're adding one so it is up to you either you add it from here or you add it from the other side let's add it from here so i can say here of of what of and then i go ahead and put uh, can i access the list of items i don't know can I access the list of product items? I think yes. Of what? Of this dot length. Yep. So one of two, two of two. So I can just simply put even stroke here if you want to. Something like that. One out of two. One out of one. So it's just up to you. It's just up to your creativity of what you want to achieve. All right. So we proceed. Uh, someone saying congratulations. Hello. All right. Thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for following. All right, so we proceed, uh, we proceed, we proceed, we proceed, we proceed. Our time is up almost, uh, remaining with uh, 20 seconds. What should I do in these 20 seconds? I think I should put these buttons. 
uh, the back button and this so in the next image the next the next one we can work with the uh, zooming of products of, of product images let's go ahead and display this for the those for images All right uh, so let me go ahead and display the back Oops, our time is over our time is over so where do I put this back? I put on the so this back. So since we have our stack here, see our stack is here. Our stack is here. So our stack is the main stack. The main 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 stack. You see it is here. So it means that if you put something next to this column, it will go on top of everything. So let's put there our back and share. So you can see that. So let me explain this. This is just a row. Okay, it's just a row next to our column in the stack. Just a row. It has space be space between. And then you have your FX container that it has on top and then say get dot back. And then border is true. So it has some kind of border. And then you, and then you go ahead and say um margin to be all to be 15, border radius to be a hundred. And then uh, color to be black with opacity of dot of zero point five, and then with uh, so you can here go and put some border, and then go ahead and put. Let me see how border would look like, right? So you can if you give it border of uh, uh, Give some border of primary color <laughs> looks weird. What if you get white? Ah, I don't think it's necessary anyway. So you do that, and then you go ahead and put this icon that shows back, all right? So you do the same for that share. So this share will also work on it. So let's give that also share that kind of border. Let's give also this a border. And we see this content also. Let's give it border. All right, so yeah, that's just be good border, white border. All right, so that's it for today. That's it for today. We, in the next lecture, we finish with uh, showing the product details, uh, product details, uh, related products, and then if time will allow, we'll go ahead and proceed with uh, adding the logic of add to cart and the checkout. So that's it for today. That's it for today. That's it for today. And then you shall also work with the zooming. You should be able to zoom. You should be able to do something like this. When you click on it, you should be able to zoom. Eh? That's what we shall be working on tomorrow or in the next lecture. Goodbye and see you.